Hi, I'm Stacey Harmon and welcome to episode two of Evernote in the Wild, Provence edition. In this series, I'm showing you how I use Evernote to support a real life use case. In this case, going to Provence in a few weeks. In episode one, I showed you the first step, which was I created a project notebook and shared it with my boyfriend. Today, I wanna to dive a little bit deeper into some strategies I use to organize the information that we are collecting in that notebook. So let's go into Evernote. In Evernote here, you can see that I've got about 21 notes in this project notebook uh, coordinating our trip to France. And one thing I wanna cover is that when you create a new note in Evernote using this new note button, uh, you actually have a blank note with no note title and a note body. It says untitled here. So a lot of people never take the step of giving their note a meaningful title, and that's a mistake. The first thing you should do is always title your notes. I'll show you why in just a minute. The other thing I wanna point out is that depending on the source of your note generation, so say you're on the web, which this is a web clip, you can uh, actually have a title automatically included from the metadata of the website, or if you're forwarding an email in, there will be a title automatically created. It'll be the subject line of the email that you forward in. Um, or if you're using, say, the camera in the Evernote app, it might tell you that you're it might be smart enough to title it as a receipt if it senses that you're taking a photograph of a receipt. There's a variety of titles that'll get assumed. Quite honestly, they're rarely what they should be titled. They're hints at what they should be titled, but the best practice here is to go in and actually title, purposely title the notes that you need to keep organized in Evernote. So maybe that's not all your notes, but in this case, it's a really important tactic that I'm using in this notebook to keep things uh, grouped together and organized. So what I've done is I've gone through and every time I add a note to Evernote, I'm actually giving it a title. So when I clipped this, I looked at it and I said, you know, what is this? Oh, this is related to my task of getting uh, Wi-Fi uh, secured for us during our trip. We're gonna rent a mobile Wi-Fi uh, uh, box. I'm sure that's not the right word. You know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, but we're going to get pocket Wi-Fi here. And I was looking at research for different companies that offer it. And you can see that when I retitled them all with Wi-Fi and I sort this by title, it puts all of my content together, which is organized. It's actually really useful. Uh, and I use this strategy a lot. I'm always adding or frequently adding a precursor to the beginning of my title. And what I'm doing is really setting myself up for search success, which I'll demonstrate in a second, but I'm also at, uh, creating some visual organization where at a glance here in the app, I can see related pieces of information. You can see I've got my hotel stuff together here. I've got Wi-Fi down here. I've got all of these friends in France notes together here. I've got flight information up here. So there is organization that just emerges as a result of this naming convention. The other thing is back to setting yourself up for search success. If I do a search for Wi-Fi here, you're gonna see it's gonna auto automatically limit it to this notebook. And if I do a search for Wi-Fi, uh, I've actually helped to uncover those notes that have Wi-Fi in the title. Now, of course, Evernote is creating uh, some search within the body of the note also, but if it had not landed on this note being the first one displayed here, if it was put here, let's just say the it had sorted it this way, so we go by title and it put it selected that one. Um, if I would have to actually click on this untitled note to know why Wi-Fi surfaced this note in the search results, which isn't as efficient. When you're dealing with mass amounts of data, it's not as useful. You wanna know at a glance what's here. And what this is, is this is, you know, today's tutorial points to cover. Okay, so that's um, kind of what it is and Wi-Fi can appear in it, but I was just illustrating that it's more useful to actually know what the title is in search. So I'm setting myself up for search success. I'm gonna find more easily and have a lot of visual information when the note or the keyword is in the title of the note. The second thing is in terms of note links, you really set yourself up to have some uh, useful stuff. So I've actually shortcutted the note right here or the notebook here, that's another strategy I use to have quick access to it is I put key notebooks up here in the shortcut. Um, and you can see here that if I sort these by title, let's do an alphabetical sort. Uh, and then I say, okay, I'd like to have all of my Wi-Fi information here. Let's just, well, let's just select all of these. 
and I already did an example, so I'm going to unselect that one. And then I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to copy the app links. And then if I go to this untitled note here, and I call this a table of contents, I can paste them. And you can see that when I paste them, I've got a lot of really valuable information in that note link title. This is as opposed to if I was doing a new note here, and it's untitled, and there's data in the body but not the title, okay? If I use the same feature here and I copy a note link and I go to my table of contents that I just created and I paste that here, it's untitled and I don't know what's here unless I click on it. I'd have to click on it to go see the internal data. So you're setting yourself up for search success. You're also setting yourself up to have a lot of visual information in the note links and, quite, and this creates organization in your notebook. Okay. It also enables you to then you know, do things like this, which I'll get into more details uh, on how to create one of these, but I can paste note links right here um, and organize them arbitrarily however I want. Uh, this is the power of Evernote. The flexibility of it allows me to organize it and create these paths to notes however I want. So those types of strategies, note names, uh, giving note titles, purposeful note titles to your notes will really help you to keep your notebook organized and surface those natural groupings of information. Uh, using the title sort can help bring those things together. Um, and set you up for search success to be able to kind of find what's in it. I really want to show here too that I can do an in-title search uh, and have Wi-Fi in the title and that will restrict uh, the search results just to the three notes that have Wi-Fi in the title, which also can be a really useful strategy to keep in mind when you are purposely naming your notes. I'll be back next time with additional information on how I'm using Evernote to support my trip to France. See you then.